I want to show you guys how to enable a hidden menu within the Steam VR settings. You're going to want to first go to Steam, go to Library. Now, if you have a lot of things in there, just type Steam VR up here and it'll totally bring you to where it's at. Right click on Steam VR, go to Manage, and then we're going to select Browse Local Files. Now it's going to open it down here. Um, <coughs> so from here, we're going to want to go to Resources. Now we're going to also scroll down. And this is the file that we're going to want to edit, but I would suggest backing it up. So I'm just going to right click, copy, go to desktop, paste, just so I have a backup. Now that we have a backup, I'm going to right click on the file. I'm going to go to open with, we're going to select notepad. Now we're going to go all the way down. Uh, okay, so it says valve internal. You can also just... Control F, type in internal, and you could find it easily there. Select down and then next. Um, so we're gonna change internal only to false. And then after we do that, file, save, exit. Now from here, we're gonna wanna go to the next file that we're gonna edit. So um, the easiest way to go to that file is just select Steam up here. And then it'll take you back. Now go to config. Now we're gonna scroll all the way down. We're gonna edit this file, but again, we're gonna right click, copy. We're gonna go desktop, backup. That's my easy backup location. And so we're gonna open this in Notepad again. If it has that little icon, you can double click on the file, but if not, just right click and then Notepad again. Now we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. Now you should get to this part here. Now. You probably won't have the appropriate entry, you know, uh, listed here. So I'm going to copy it from my notepad, which I'll have this in the description too, for you guys to easily copy. Um, so we're going to go to like, I guess we could click here, like at the end of this comma, I'm going to press hold shift and enter on my keyboard. It's going to shift to me down and then I'm going to control V or right click and paste. And it's going to add in this line here. Like I said, I will have this in the description. Make sure if you copy it, you copy all the spaces as well. If not, then just, you know, space out until they're all lined up. Um, now, if you have this line already, then just change false to true. If you don't, then just, you know, copy the whole thing in there. Now that it's in there, we're going to select file, save, exit. Now we could launch Steam VR and I will show you guys a hidden menu. I believe this menu is just like a hidden valve internal setting that we're not supposed to use. Um play experimental stuff. So I'm gonna go to settings. Um and then I'm gonna well you see down here it says valve internal. This is the new menu that gets added. Now I don't know what a lot of these settings do. So um you guys could kind of play with it. I think it's like some new tab that they're testing for the new upcoming Valve headset. But um, there's a couple things I did play with. I haven't played with everything, but Block Oculus SDK on all launches. Now, I never tested these, but from what it sounds like, it sounds like if you're using an Oculus headset, that if you launch Steam VR, that it'll block the Oculus software from running on the side of Steam VR. So if that is all working, which if any of you guys want to test that or report back in the comments, um, that'd be awesome. But this would be a performance increase if you could run Steam on your Oculus without the Oculus software like behind it. So it sounds kind of cool. Um, I did mess with the vertical offset, which just allows you to shift your Steam VR overlay up or down more. Um, all these other things, I don't really know what they do, but... This is just if you guys want to tinker around. Now, this is all experimental stuff. So um, this is just for educational purposes. Um, the average user probably has no use for any of this. But yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next video.